what are you doing at the Team Huddle Board by yourself, and what's going on with your hands? Hey, Jackie. Well, I was just looking at our production chart for the week and testing out some of our new grip lock devices that just came off the machines, and I figured, well, since I'm being a test dummy, I might as well try and figure something out for the week. So how are we looking for production this week? Currently, we have a custard demand of 83,000 pieces needed for a work week. That is a lot of pieces. Tell me about it. That's a super aggressive plan for the week. Okay, so it's Thursday now, and we're by almost through the first shift. How are we looking? Well, that's exactly what I was looking at at my draft year. So you can see we're almost to the end of first shift on Thursday, and it looks like we're a little short so far. So how short are we talking? So if I'm tracking with you, it appears that we can run 20,000 pieces in a day. Is that right? That's correct, Jackie. Um, and since we can work two 10-hour shifts in a given day, we need to figure out if I can use the people on second shift to work on these machines up here, or do I need to put them elsewhere where they can be more productive? So how are you going to figure that out? Well, if you see here on the graph, I'm about 6,000 pieces short um, for the week. And since it's already Thursday, we need to figure out here now on second shift which machines um, are going to be able to run that will help us meet our goal. So can't you just run both machines and call it good? Well, it's not exactly that simple. You see, I don't have enough people staffed on second shift to be able to do that. So realistically, I only have enough people to run one machine. So i got to be able to figure out which machine will give me the best output so I can meet my goals for the week. So how are you going to do that? We're going to do a little math. Okay. Machine one will give us six boxes an hour of product, with 50 pieces in each box, while machine two will be able to produce 12 boxes an hour, and this product code also requires 50 pieces in a box. So how many pieces will we be able to produce in a 10-hour shift? Machine one can produce 50 pieces in a box multiplied by six boxes per hour equals 300 pieces in one hour. In a 10 hour shift, multiply that by 300 pieces an hour equals 3,000 pieces. Machine two can produce 50 pieces in a box multiplied by 12 boxes per hour will equal 600 pieces in one hour. In a 10 hour shift, if you multiply that by 600 pieces per hour will equal 6,000 pieces. Well, it looks like machine two is gonna produce what you need, right? Yep, it's going to give me exactly what I need, but it is cutting it super close. No kidding, but there are some other things we might want to consider. The cost of labor for first shift is a dollar less than that of second shift. That and overtime is time and a half. 